Hello, my name is Krishna from Best Engineering Project and today in this video I came up with another new project so before I start please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon in order to get notification of every new project that we will post in near future let's start there are two types of electrical electronics appliance based on the main supply it required generally heavy electrical equipment required three phase main supply for working three phase main supply have three different phase each are placed at 120 degree angle with each other so in this video you will learn how to design three phase power source protector circuit using timer ic this timer ic 555 three phase electrical appliance is expensive and required all three phase if voltage fluctuate or fail in any phase operation of appliance may malfunction or become dead in order to solve this problem we are designing this three phase appliance protector circuit the working principle of the circuit is very simple if voltage at any phase fails the circuit switch of the appliance and resume automatic when voltage at all three phases available with certain delay this delay protect the appliance from surge and hence eliminate malfunctions now let's see the circuit diagram and component required for this project. From circuit diagram and component required, we conclude that this circuit utilizes three transformers and three relay one for each phase from circuit diagram we also conclude that one terminal of each primary winding of transformer is connected to neutral of main supply at shown in circuit diagram where other terminal of each transformer primary winding is connected to each phase of main supply through relay as shown in circuit diagram Relay RL1 and RL2 is configured in such a way that its output behave as AND gate. That is, its output is high only when all the input is high and become low in all other case. Now let's analyze the circuit. In order to analyze the circuit, we had divided the entire circuit into three main part. One for R phase, one for Y phase and lastly one for B phase. If we analyze the circuit for R phase, then R phase is connected to one terminal of transformer X1 where neutral is connected to another terminal. When R phase is available, the step down voltage that is 12 volt is available at secondary winding of transformer X1 which is rectified by half wave rectifier designed using diode D1 and filtered using capacitor C1. This voltage is used to energize the relay RL1. Now if we see the circuit diagram, one flyback diode is added across coil of relay RL1 in order to protect the entire circuit from transient voltage effect of relay coil. Let's see the connection of relay. The NO contact that is normally open contact of relay is connected to Y phase of mains line and common pin of relay RL1 is connected to one terminal of primary winding of transformer X2 where other terminal of primary winding of transformer x2 is going to do neutral line as shown in circuit diagram the rest of the circuit is same as previously mentioned that is the step down voltage is rectified using half wave rectifier which is further further filtered using capacitor c1 and this voltage is also used to energize the relay rl2 from above description and circuit diagram we can say that relay RL2 only energized when both the R phase and Y phase is available. Now let's see the connection of relay RL2. Connection of relay RL2 is same as above relay RL1. The NO pin that is normally open pin of relay is connected to B phase of main line and common pin of relay RL2 is going to the terminal one terminal of primary winding of transformer X3 where other terminal of primary winding is connected to neutral line. So from above description and circuit diagram we can conclude that one terminal of each transformer primary winding is connected to neutral line. 
voltage is available to primary winding of transformer x3 only when all the three phase that is r y and b phase is available when all the three phases available a step down voltage is available is also available at secondary winding of transformer x3 which is further rectified and filtered by diode d5 and capacitor c3 respectively as shown in circuit diagram this voltage activate the time delay circuit the time delay circuit is designed using timer ic555 configured in mono stable mode when all the phase is available timer ic555 get trigger and activate the output for the given configuration the time delay should be 4 second now let's see the mathematical calculation involved in time delay circuit for this prototype we are using 4 second for that the capacitance value is of about 4.7 microsecond the resistance value is unknown so for that we are using one mega ohm variable resistor if we see the formula for time delay that is t is equal to 1.1 times r times c here we had already know the value of t and c therefore we can calculate the value of r that is 473 kilo ohm from above calculation we conclude that at about 3 by 4 position of wiper of variable resistor BR1 the output delay will be 4 second but you can change this delay according to your requirement by adjusting the wiper of variable resistor but here for this prototype circuit I am using one fixed value of 680 kilo ohm resistance when all the phase is available the relay RL3 energized and it activate the contractor and hence appliance get all the three phase supply glowing lead one that is red lead ensure the availability of R phase where lead two and lead three ensure Y and V phase of mains line now let's see the output of the circuit when all the main supply that is R Y B phase is available As you can see here, 230 voltage appear at this multimeter. Now let's see the output. If any of the phase is missing, let's say P phase is missing. If you connect the power supply, no voltage is appear across this multimeter because one phase that is B phase is missing. In this way, this circuit protect the three phase load by stopping it automatically under such condition. For testing of this circuit, we had sorted live wire of single phase power supply with R, Y, B of three phase, whereas neutral is connected to neutral of single phase AC supply. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon in order to get notification of every new project that we will post in this channel. 